So for congas, the basic playing approach is uh, you want to have the drum centered along with your spine, and uh, you want to tilt the drum ever so slightly away from you so that the one of the edges of the drum is about an inch off the floor, and it's just so the drum can breathe. One of your feet, let's see if I can get a good camera angle here. Yeah, there you go. One of your feet is going to go in front, and the other one is going to... Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the instep of your shoe or your foot is going to go and kind of curve around the drum. That's kind of the reason that the drums get small at the bottom is so that it can kind of, kind of uh, fit into the, uh, the instep of your shoe. But that's so that the drum doesn't try and escape from you. So, that's very graceful. Um, so, with this one, uh, we don't get as big of a difference between low and high sounds, but you want to use a flat hand in the center to get our lower sound, and you want to use a relaxed hand out at the edge, right? We get a little bit more of a thud in the middle, and we get more of a song or a, a little bit more tone. Right? And I'm also I'm sitting to the side so you can see a little bit of the angle. If you don't do that, 